Well, that's a Norman Rockwell right there. Is Let's it authentic? Yes. You can get your loop out and just see here. No, it's a print. It's a print. It's not numbered. There's another Norman Rockwell back there. Over there. That looks like that's real. No, that's a print also. <gasps> How could you tell so quick? Well, you could just I got you that from a rich out. lady. If you get your loop out and you see little dots, that'll tell you right off. So it's a phony? Yeah, it's just a card. Mary just found out that her is not worth Cost me 300 1970 How does this lady know about art when she's not an art dealer? I might as well ask my Aunt Gracie. She's 93 years old. I think she knows better than this one. Now, this piece of furniture, look at that. That's kind of cute. That's worth several hundred dollars. <gasps> Actually, I might be wrong. This lady has a good head on her shoulders. I like her. That's Napoleon's. It looks like a commemorative one to me. Wait, what does commemorative mean? That means ceremonial. They made several oh, of them. Oh, you know what It I wasn't mean? given to Napoleon? No. Oh, so that's not worth anything. Where did you get this sword? My brother gave it to me. My brother used to buy stolen stuff. Maybe it was stolen. My brother, Angelo, used to deliver fruit and produce in Beverly Hills. He knew all the stars there. And every once in a while, he would come home with something. You know, we'd say, wow, where'd you get that from, Angelo? You know, and then we kind of figured he took it. <laughs> now that you told me that about your brother, I won't be buying it. Well, what about if I give it to the black market? Would they buy it? Well, you girls are very full of humor today, aren't you? No, we're serious. <laughs> we're drowning here with worthless stuff. Throw me a bone, lady. This looks like it's from the 20s, maybe a little earlier. It's absolutely gorgeous. Something like this would probably sell for about $1,000. <gasps> Yay. $1,000. Oh, wow. That's for so one item, customer. you got $1,000. But, but I have to tell you, to the right customer, it's, it's a fabulous piece. Thank goodness for my nice things. Now I'm regretting splitting it three ways. Look at how perky has Oh, you are a naughty girl. <laughs> Look at, I just love to go I like this. I just can't. Why do you yeah. love to touch them? I don't know, they're so cute. <laughs> what a sickle. Well, they're, because mine used to look like that. They're perky. Yeah, they're perky. Perky's they're perky. perky. Now mine point to the floor. I would say that to the right customer, that's worth over $1,000. Well, that would go in the Beverly Hills home. With those knockers, my statue should be worth a lot more than Josie's stupid old lamp. Because people in this town, they shell out a lot of money for a nice rack. Is that standing bear or am I nutty? That's standing bear, 19th century. <gasps> okay. That's worth a lot of money then, right? I heard that a lot of people are collecting vintage bear because of the metal. It could be made of gold, it could be made of copper, and it's from Russia. This could be very valuable. Yeah, there was another one that went for 8100 They sold wow. one for $8,000. $8,000. $8, yeah. That's good. Holy $8,000 for that stupid bear? We better hurry up and get the cash and run. I know when to hold him, and I know when to fold him.